गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर सुंदरम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग नाइस डूइंग यस यस या दैट्स एन क्लॉक इन द इन योर हैंड्स विद मैनुअल पिक्चर्स डिपिक्टेड आई एम क्यूरियस टू नो व्हाट इज इट या सम मीनिंग आई थिंक थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू uh this is the innovation of my last uh, uh, two decades of working with uh, young parents you know i have helped more than 10000 young parents for the last 10 years using different uh, parents coaching program there's one parenting style where we teach young mothers to become their own psychologist so one day become the psychologist for their kid then it becomes easy for them to raise a genius kid that is how we went into this parenting style this is this represents the 12 parenting styles of the mothers okay, okay. so can you explain a bit about uh, each of them yeah uh so these are 12 parenting styles okay. so you have to understand what is parenting parenting is nothing but the emotional support you give to your children to move them from one level to next level it is like a gps system for the kid so there are uh, 12 parenting styles okay so that 12 per each each animal represents one quality of the parent that is how it is come uh, you have to understand there is something called a seed okay. and a feed what is the seed seed is a talent isn't it a seed every baby is having a seed or a talent and what the mother gives is the feed mm. like a plant requires nourishment mm. a seed requires a proper feed mm. suppose i am hungry mm. okay then i am asking mummy i am hungry mm. you are giving me drink let let us say you are giving me a beer but beer is not good for my health so similarly the proper seed requires a proper feed the matching of the seed versus feed that is where we focus on this parenting style oh. there are 12 parenting styles in it there are 12 parenting seeds in the kid similarly there are 12 parenting feeds in the mother oh. we teach mothers to identify what are the seeds in the child's brain and what nourishment you should do you identify what is the nutrition requirement you become a nutritional therapist you yeah, identify, identify what is the hormone the, hunger of the baby and you with a hormone therapy or hormonic can you explain each and every this style of parenting yeah uh, i would give you first with an example uh, i told you about the hamam hamam mother hamam mother if you see in this hamam mother the lady sees she goes in a scooter to pick up her teen so some boys are chasing the teen so what she says is you go and purchase something so when the girl goes for purchasing and comes back to board the bus and the scooter she speeds away so the, the the girl runs for some more period she is about to board the mother's scooter she speeds away that way she is teaching her how to face the crisis at the end she puts her in the salamum class and says my my daughter should know salamum class so that she can fight so this is where the problem of the child the fear of the child she is removing with the salamum class this is called hamam parenting i am not telling this is wrong this is not universal solution okay. you are making your child to go and fight with salamum or you are teaching you are putting your uh, kid in a karate class so that she can protect herself that is a solution but have you found out whether your girl is ready to learn karate or getting the point yeah. what we do is i put my son in engineering because i have seen you go put your son in engineering therefore i put it okay. that fellow has made him a doctor therefore i will also make it we blindly copy others okay. but we never ask whether the child is having interest or not that is where i say identify the talent in this case hamam mother i would call one style is okay but if the child is an introvert she is not interested in karate she is not interested in self protection games then it will be other failure so what will happen the same kid will become an enemy of the mother so i don't like you you ask me to go there i don't want to go there i am afraid of being you ask me to do that 
that is where what has happened in this state is it become the seed and the feed is wrong seed is there but feeding is wrong so similar with there are 12 feeds this is just i would call it here this is called honey bee parent in this honey bee parenting you know what is the honey bee honey bee makes a perfect cell okay the structure is very very perfect so here if the mother is having a honey bee cell of parenting she is a perfectionist she is having systematic work she is very disciplined she will build the child to become she also disciplined she will take get up in the morning do the homework go to exercise do x y she wants systematically doing things because she is doing systematically because of a honey bee parenting style which has worked for her she is rubbing that honey bee style on the thing is it clear to you know okay. let me tell you an elephant style elephant style you to look at the elephant quality it always moves with with the family with, with their kids uh, with their neighbor it always moves. so here at the elephant represents a mother who always loves relationship of move with the family she always loves relationship that okay. if the baby goes and gives a complaint that person is uh, uh, that boy is uh, hitting me she will give a relationship solution don't worry about it make friends of him okay. the friendship is not a solution every time okay. you have to identify whether why the boy is hitting you motherly style third is a cheetah cheetah already told what is cheetah cheetah is always a fighter lone fighter here the mother is having this cheetah style she will always recommend her daughter to fight confront the group don't stop because i am a cheetah this is also become a cheetah similarly here a cat what is a cat cat represents lonely a mother who has got a low self esteem she doesn't want to talk to her sir husband she doesn't want to talk to gently she can't voice herself in my own case my mother doesn't talk to her so what happened she is lonely she thinks that formula is correct so makes the other kid also to do the lonely style of okay, um, living and the fifth one you can see is an owl what is an owl owl is a mother who always finds criticism that, that is not good feel the stick is correct get this one correct you are not done that correctly you are not done that correctly she always finds fault because that is her nature owl always works uh, entirely different to the all birds okay owl always works in the night it goes and find out those in the night it can't see like other animals it has got a special style of seeing what it wants to see so i would call him a detective mother even though you do a good thing she is a detective she will find fault with you then you are got a puppy style six is a puppy style puppy style is very loyal you know puppy so she is very very loyal to everybody she is loyal to system she is loyal to puppy she is loyal to husband so she always teach loyalty to the kids then seven is nothing but this is nothing but dolphin style in dolphin style what actually happen dolphin always wants to enjoy okay let us say mother wants to enjoy and she has produced result in that way she will teach the same style of enthusiasm positiveness she always look at positivity don't think of negativity so i am not telling your style is good or not i only tell you is don't rub your style on your kids Find out they have got a separate need. They have a separate need, and separate need requires a separate food. Because hunger is separate, if the hormone is there, it should be different. Similarly, eight, eight is a lion. Lion is a king. A king always wants to be alone, and he wants to lead others. So similarly, if a mother is having a leadership style, she will always think like a leader, or she will rub the same style on the kid. Nine is a dove. Dove is nothing but a symbol of peace. Anything happens, she always loves peace. If the mother goes, if, if a child goes and gives a complaint, she says, "No, no, we have to love the neighbors. Don't worry about it. Forget about it." That is her nature, but she is forcing that, rubbing that particular, cloning that style on the kids. Then this, this pen is not a peacock. Peacock is always colorful, big, bright, beautiful. These are the people who are artists. They always think. They always. They, they are not worried about how to make money. They want they they love the art so much. So what actually happens? Many of the artists, you know, they are poor money makers because they do not know how to balance money as well as an artwork. Eleven is a fox. Fox is I would say is a person who can manipulate things. So I would not say manipulation good or bad. Okay, depending upon the requirement, 
anything is in, nothing in the style is good or bad all styles are there there can be a mix of style but is it suitable for your kids need so this is nothing but a manipulative style or finding taking colors adding supports okay sometimes this side sometimes that side it may be good it may be bad depending upon the case and situation and the last is nothing but the uh, monkey monkey is nothing but it represents uh, a human being so monkey always wants to copy the elders monkey see monkey do so these are the people who blindly copy their parenting and they see to others without identifying whether the child requires a need or not so here what is the seed of the kid and what is the feed of the mother i'm talking about the feeding style so every time your feed may not actually be requirement for a seed you are giving a food you are thinking you are giving a good food but maybe the child doesn't require that maybe if you go to a doctor a nutritional therapist will tell what sort of food is required similarly i am here a sort of a mind nutritional therapist i tell you your child is having this need and you have to change your parenting style otherwise you don't do the parent let the father do the parenting let the brother do the parenting we tell you so we, we in other words we make every young mother a psychologist of their kid so we tell them how to identify the brain factory talent of your kid and you identify the brain factory talent of the mother then try to match it and nurture it fantastic fantastic your formula like this this is actually based on four uh, general psychometric tools we have combined it during our clinical experience we we give a questionnaire to the mother psychological questionnaire so that they can identify first they can identify their talents then we also teach them how to identify our scientific tools to identify the talents of the kid and the next level we tell them how to match the talent with them uh, the needs and the kids and how do you identify which kind of need parents want in another little attempt you know first here the proposal number step 1 say here is see, uh, my message here is my mission to help 1 million young parents okay the philosophy is catch them in okay? catch them in as quickly as possible you mold them the raft one molding they can be difficult and the become afterward you find it is a wrong engineering case and afterwards five six three years engineering is gone and then you find to pay that person is not having engineering like you want to become a journalist so first number one is scan the brain talent of the mother first test you have to learn brain talent of the mother the next you have to scan the brain talents of the kid third is reparent a new story for the world about the kid that is what i am telling you now i am giving you a psychological tool So with that tool, you will identify the talents of yourself first. If you, as a mother you can't identify your talents, then you don't know how to use the same tools on your kids. First, do it on yourself, do it on your kids, and do it on other kids. Become your own doctor, become your own psychologist of your kids' brain factory. Using that psychology tool, mother can. Yeah, mother is identified as elephant family. Right. And then uh, how she finds uh, the child, the seed, uh, is which category? How she matches? See, that is what I am telling you. There is a like complementary and there is a cross-parenting style. So let us suppose, for example, a cheetah parenting style. Okay, mother is always a fighter, mm-hmm. but the child is a peace lover. Yeah. So, entirely diametrically opposite. The you want to more and more fight in the world. You want peace with the world. Yeah. Then afterward, what happens if these mothers start parenting it 
what will happen? More gap will come. More enmity will come. That is what I am telling you. Don't do that. We give the parenting responsibility to somebody else. That is what we teach them. Maybe father is good at that. Brother is good at that. It is something like, see, you, you know Telugu. I don't know Telugu language. So what should we try to communicate? I have to go to the third person who can talk to me in that language, isn't it? He knows yeah, Telugu and English. Yes. That is. Please, you will not do wrong parenting, you know. 50% people go away and develop a lot of misunderstanding, hatred for the mother yeah, because yes. unknowingly you are doing wrong parenting. Mostly it happens. This match is matching. So we can help them with the psychological tool to identify the previous need and uh, whether it is matching or not. If not matching, we will advise them for interpreting. Whether the children is children are brought up in a appropriate manner. Is that right, Doctor? Very right. See, 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 the mistake you are going to do 12 years ahead, I am saving the 12 years to you. Okay. So, thus this is a school and we help young mothers to become master. We have a system so that once you learn this, you can take the whole parenting journey of your kid in your hands. See. When I know that uh, I am not a better person, I am not a better doctor, I will refer to some specialist, isn't it? There is, to some extent, a doctor can help. After all, the doctor, what he will do, he will refer to the specialist. So, at least you should know which area I should refer to the specialist. But what happens? Because you don't know, you start parenting it. You become a doctor for everything. Then afterwards you say, my, my, uh, my kid uh, has taken engineering and now he is a failure for the last 10 years he is doing engineering and he is a failure. Mm. So that's how it comes. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. In the missions help 1 million couples. You can join me as a business partner, you can join me as a coach, you can learn this and you can work with my team. Okay. If you are a psychologist, you can learn this new method. This is not taught in academic. 1% of the coaches in this world know this method. That is not an ordinary parenting. This is not for everybody. Mm. Only for serious parents. I always tell there are three types of parents. Mm. One is a Bhikshapati parent. Second is a Lakpati parent. Third is a Tarapati parent. I am not talking about the financial wealth set. I am talking about the mindset. Bhikshapati parent is not at all interested. He is a Bhiksha. He only he wants to live like a beggar. He wants his children to live like a beggar. He never wants to improve. Lakpati parent is once in a while find out the best school best tools, best toys and help the kid. A Kurupati parent is a parent or a mother who takes the complete journey in the control. She is becoming a mother psychologist. She is making her genius kid because she herself is a psychologist. Now I am making every mother a psychologist, an engineer, a brain doctor, whatever you can call it. Because it is something like 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. If there is no results, there are two mistakes. Either I am not teaching you correctly or you are not learning correctly. There is no third mistake. Because this is a secret that come out of the 10,000 young parents experience formula over the last 10 years working with my clients in India and abroad. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, taking this uh, sort of a session and question answers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.